In this video, I'm going to describe a major new feature in the Sequence Viewer from NCBI. The feature is a new and sophisticated way to control the selection and display of data. We start with the Sequence Viewer open in a web browser and showing human chromosome number one. The URL is shown at the bottom of the screen. The view is divided into sections of data and each of those sections of data is described as a track. For example, we have the genes track here and the STS markers track here. To change or configure the tracks we're seeing, or to change the order they're shown, I'll click the Configure button. In this dialog, there are three tabs. The first is for configuring tracks. The second is for displaying custom data, which could be something you upload, or a blast result, or something else. And the third tab allows us to set some global display options. We're going to focus on configuring tracks. This screen is divided into three parts. The part on the left allows selection of different categories of data. The part in the middle allows us to choose to turn on or off the display of a particular track, and the bottom part allows us to configure options associated with a particular track. See how it changes when I select a different track. The active tracks on the left side shows us what's currently displayed. Here we can turn off tracks and rearrange them. For example, I'll turn off the STS markers and move the genes track by clicking and dragging. Notice when I click the genes track, the bottom part of the window displays options available for the gene track. Before I click Configure to accept my changes and dismiss the dialog, it's important to point out the Load Defaults button. This will reset the configuration to the way it was before I made any changes. So I'll click Configure, and we see that the STS markers are no longer displayed and the Dean's track has been moved down. Let's go back to the Configure dialog and add the SNPs. Click on the Variation tab on the left and click on the checkbox next to SNP, the top row. Then if we go back to the Active Tracks, we'll see SNP, the SNP track is added and we can put it where we want it. I'll move it below Genes. Then click Configure. Wait a few seconds and there's the SNP track displayed. There are many other display and data options available, and this gives you a taste of how to explore and configure them.